Hey, what's up, guys? It's Duran Duran here, bringing you uh, day two in the London 2012 Olympic Games video game complete walkthrough. And today's two events are, I think, the men's long jump and the uh, men's 50 meter freestyle. So let's get straight into this with the qualifier for the men's long jump. Um, like I said, this is my first walkthrough, so don't expect anything great, you know, anything amazing. Um, with what I get score wise um, this is just a learning experience and then hopefully after this series you know I can do a couple online games and beat some Americans and stuff like that so that would be pretty cool so getting straight into the qualifying here is Taylor Jones in this men's long jump again simple mechanics uh, just rapidly pressing A to get the speed up and then you've got to get a good angle um, right before the line so 7.89 is pretty good for your first go to be honest um, you know it's not much time to practice this and you can see that with the replay going woo um, I was quite far behind though the line um, you know if I could have got a bit closer or if I had the speed lock I could have gone for a better jump but that puts me in second place at the moment behind Spain so let's see what attempt number two brings yeah speed wise that was pretty poor as you saw I was going under the line and over the line so that was only about half and that angle was too high so I'm falling over backwards and I was over the line as well so it was a foul so that was a pretty bad second attempt and there's an achievement by getting like 30 fouls um, which is pretty easy to get when you mess up a lot of the time like I do and let's see what happens now it's pretty good speed this one again not fully but it's pretty good uh, it was a bit too high though and again miles behind the line so 7.05 not great first one obviously was a lucky one um, Spain's still in the lead with 7.96 meters I think it's Spain it could be Portugal I'm not really paying attention um, again speed wise this isn't very good again it's quite lacking angle too low falling forwards uh, miles behind the line again so 7.15 you no know, this isn't great Second place still, you know, two attempts left. Oh, now I'm in third even. Two attempts left. So, you know, I've got to pull this back. I know I've, this, this is, is just practice, round, but I've got to be in the top four. So, in case Where someone beats me, you know, I've got to get a nice jump. And that was too high. And was I cost? No, I was just on the line. I need to be right at the front of that line now, not going over. So, yep, still in third place. Only just, as you can see, by 0.01 meters. Uh, behind fourth. Um, so this looks pretty good speed wise I think this is fast speed so far it's a pretty good angle and I think it's a yeah miles behind the line again though but I think it's a better jump and yeah 8 meters so that's a new personal bet so I think a qualified second in that yeah second place qualification so therefore we're going straight through to the final in the men's long jump it's pretty good gold medal chance there I believe well silver medal I just saw that I was only um, in second place in that, so I'm not really the favourite going into it. Carlos is. But now we're going to the swimming with the men's 50 meter freestyle. Again, this is pretty simple mechanics, and I'll, you'll be able to see what it is once the game starts. So this is qualifying as you can see, day 2 men's 50 meter freestyle, and there we are look, David Jenkins for Great Britain in lane 4 wearing his speedos there and let's see what happens world record is 291 oh 2091 even so what happens is at go you're supposed to jump into the water with A and you're supposed to rapidly press A to then get out of the water and then you're supposed to use the left and right stick um, at perfect timings when the arm is fully extended um, to just control the arms and it's only 50 meters so it's only one length of the pool and I did mess up in the tutorial, absolutely failed it, but that means, look at that, world record in the qualification, just, um, but it is a new world record, and that you get an achievement for that as well, um, for breaking a world record, so that's, that's pretty good, I think that was more luck than anything, because in the pool, uh, in the tutorials, I, I was terrible, I wasn't sure how you were supposed to be doing it, so I was just pulling the left stick and the right stick, the left stick and the right stick, and you know, I wasn't going anywhere, I was just stuck in the middle, and it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, let's 
go on to the finals now of the long jump, the men's long jump in the Olympic Stadium in Olympic Park. I did get a personal best of 8 meters, but that is miles behind the world record of 9 meters, um, 9, 9.09 9 even. So I need to get a good jump here to be in the chance of medal positions. As you did see, um, I did come second in the qualifying with 8 meters, but this is the final, so it's probably going to be a lot higher. That's a nice speed lock, and that's a good angle to start off with, and I think that's, yeah, that's a good jump from behind the line. And look at that 8.06, first jump, a new personal best. So it all comes down to what happens in the final. And we're in first place to start off with, but I doubt that'll last long unless I get a better jump. This is obviously poor start going up in the red and the yellow, that is no speed at all. It's half and angle is too low. So that was an abysmal. 6 meters something, yeah, 6 meters 36. Terrible. I need to pick it up. Let's see what comes in the halfway jump, jump number three. And it's fairly good, not best speed lock. Um, too high of an angle. Um, I was a better position there on the line, but 7 meters 56. Not great. Um, and there I am in second place, yes again. So I need a better jump here. Just to get me into first place gold medal position. It's a nice speed lock. Um, too high and miles past the line there, that is a foul. Um, unfortunately, you can tell if it's a foul because if you go too high and then you beat the qualifying then, and you still you know, manage to get a good distance, then yeah, it has to be a foul. You have to get a perfect angle and a perfect position on the line to be able to get that far. Uh, that was an amazing angle, 46, best of 45, but I was just miles behind the line there. And as you can see now I dropped in third place so this jump is basically everything and I've already started it quite badly there with the speed. Um, pretty poor speed that. Again halfway and it's a good angle but the speed just wasn't there and I was miles behind the line. But I think I may have just finished in middle position third place. So I did. So yeah it's better than nothing. Bronze is better than nothing. As you did see I was like um, 0.3 of a meter behind so I was pretty far behind but you know it was only my second third attempt if you include the tutorial um, in the long jump. So there's much room for improvement but there you can see Great Britain is still in the lead medal wise um, and let's see what happens in the men's 50 meters freestyle final now. Uh, obviously I am the favourite going into it having broke the world record in the qualifying by about point three I think 0.3 of a second is what I beat it by, maybe 0.26, something like that. But it's the final of the men's 50 meters freestyle. Um, having broke the world record, I should do fairly well. Again, I'm going to just do one length of the pool. And let's see what happens. So it was a fairly good start. As you can see, we're in second place. And we're getting through there with the arms. We're in first place now. However, just slowing down a bit on the arms, just messing it up, not getting it in right time has now put us down to 4, 5th, 6th, and it's all going terribly wrong. 7th, 8th, as you see, if you get the arms wrong, you just, you know, just stay on the water and just don't move anywhere. So that was a poor 8th place for the world record holder and the Olympic record holder, um, finishing with 25.04 where he got the Olympic record of 20.67, so pretty bad. So thanks for watching day two, stay tuned for a couple of days time when I'll be uploading day three and we see if Great Britain can still stay in the lead on the medal stable.